as an intern in 2008 and has been running this internship ever since. <laughs> Here with a family recipe from South America is our digital producer, Andrea Lizcano. Andrea. Hi. Andrea, you are so much more than a digital producer. You are the rock of your family. You are the leader. Some say you are the world's youngest matriarch of a family. Also, you are quite the interior decorator. So yeah, I just I want to it. put all of your artistry Thank out you. there. Now listen, you're going to a lot of work. I could yeah. have hooked you up with ayakas from the ladies from my church. Yeah, that's who, true. They make great ayakas and they also make tamales. These yeah. are very similar. I was similar. looking for an ayaka yes. dealer this year, but now I'm making my own. Okay, so <laughs> teach us how. Teach us. Okay, so this is a Venezuelan traditional Christmas dish. Mm -hmm. um, so first we're going to start out by, there's some chicken stock here. Yep. And we're going to put the chicken. Mm-hmm. We're going to put... Is this raw chicken? Yes. Mm -hmm, yeah. The achote, which you buy like this, and then you simmer it with some vegetable oil, so you mm -hmm. put that. Mm-hmm. And then you put this sweet wine. And the harina. The cornmeal. Andrea, when you came here as, um, as a young intern, so full yes. of hope and promise. Yes. <laughs> when did it all go belly up for you? When were you like, the hell with it, I'm never leaving? Yeah, I started and I never looked back. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have that and that's going to cook and it's going to look um, like this right here, this chicken. Oh, so, wait, so that's what it winds up So looking. this, yeah, this what we put in here ends up looking like this chicken mixture. How long do we expect that to take? Well, they usually do it the day before, but the recipe's on the website. Got it. Okay, got okay. it. Okay, so then we're going to make this, which is inside of the ayaka. So you're going to take, well, it's already done for right. us, but it's with this cornmeal, this achote, and some chicken broth, and you mix it together. So we're going to take this with our hands. Yep. And we're going to make it into a ball. And this is, what is this base? Is this sweet potato? No, this is cornmeal. Cornmeal. But the okay. achote gives it that flavor and that, and it's, a, it's that color too. So you're okay. going to put it here. So my grandma would make this every year, but she wouldn't let any of us do it. Really? Because, yeah, because she's like, you're going to mess it up. So none of us have ever done it. <gasps> and she can't make it anymore because she developed dementia. Oh, no. Yes. So my family was going to attempt to do it this year, and I can't go because of COVID, so I'm here with my live family attempting it. <laughs> but we're, we're just as much fun, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is a banana mm -hmm. leaf, and you have to make sure that the ridges are facing towards you, and it's best to have it horizontal because you're going to have to uh, fold it. Okay. So you, you flatten it out. Flatten it out. And then you scoop in some of this chicken, not too much. Okay. And then you're gonna put the ornaments, that's what we call it. So these are my grandma's ornaments. My abuelita would put these peppers and oh. a few of these chickpeas inside. Okay. And then you fold it. Okay. What's happening? So, okay. Okay, we're gonna okay. go to commercial break and then we'll and then we'll fold and then yes. we'll eat. We'll be right back. Stick around. Okay, so after you wrap it once, you actually have to wrap it twice and tie it with a uh, twine. And then you have to wrap it in aluminum foil because you put it in water, so it can, like boiling hot water, mm -hmm. so it can cook and you don't want the water to seep in. And that's it. Yay! Our website for Andrea's recipe.